30th at about 8.30 in the morning. And this is going to be the start of my labor and delivery log. I've been having contractions all night on and off, so I'm bouncing on the ball to try to keep them going, but I do have an induction schedule today at 7 a.m., so that's why we are up bright and early. I am nervous to be getting induced. I was hoping things would be a little bit more natural. Yesterday, my doctor was a little concerned and she decided that the best option would be a an induction. So I'm excited to meet our little baby girl today, August 30th. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> you gotta warn me. <laughs> we just made it to the hospital, had a little breakfast, and then we're gonna go have this baby. Baby time. <laughs> So what time do we guess the baby's gonna be born? Here we go. 2.24. 2.24? Okay. That would be amazing. 1.16. Really? What do you think? I feel like it's gonna be much later. Like 5.30 or something. Why are you on camera? Yeah, I guess like 5.30, she's gonna be born. Uh, well, hopefully this will go off. Yeah, I know. Yeah, just leave at 7 at the airport. I think she'll be born before 7. <laughs> I mean, I hope she's gonna I mean, I hope she's gonna be born before you have to leave, but... If it's one o'clock, how much time is that in labor? Uh, I'm, assuming, I'm not gonna start to like call it. I feel like you're gonna start at like nine or ten. So I feel like a four-hour labor. Besides, because you were. Yeah, it's time to. We're gonna get right into the What do you have? This is Monica. This is Monica. <laughs> She's working great. I don't like to. It is 9.28 in the morning. Oh my gosh, we've already been here for two and a half hours. Yeah. yeah. And what did you just get? Fully bulb and um, my water just broke. Yeah, did she time it? Did she say what time it was? It was 9.21. When my water broke? Yeah. It didn't feel like seven minutes ago when your water It broke. doesn't even feel like it was, it's been two and a half hours. I didn't think it was nine to What? I didn't think it was nine Yeah, she said like 9.23 or something when my water broke. She called it. No, that was But it broke when he was putting the bulb in. Yeah, I was going mm -hmm. So we started the fully bulb. And who said we would be starting at nine or ten? Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then she's getting Pitocin ready. So what's your guess when baby's born? Yeah, when is it? It's 9.30, so what time? Well, I'd prefer to say 10.30, so we'll be done, but... One hour! <laughs> what's the actual guess? 2.24. 2.24? Do you think that's a good guess? I'm gonna say 4 o'clock hour. 4 o'clock hour, okay. I was saying initially like 5. That would be a good guess. I'll go in between. I'll say three no, you said 15. Don't change your <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, this is our final guesses. 
No, so you don't have to adjust now that you have more. Experience. You're getting to adjust too. I said 224 the first time. 224. <laughs> okay, it's very precise. Uh, well, 24 is COVID reference numbers. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> okay. okay, what am I going to say? 522 is my favorite number. So okay, two, I'll say 522. 522? Okay. Or should I say 522? No, say 522. A 22 was 30. Okay, 522. Come on, Taylor. Do you want to answer? I'm going to say something in the 4 o'clock hour. Something in the 4 o'clock hour. And Taylor says what? She said 116. No. I'm going to say... Well, yeah, because now I know, like, station and effacement. We didn't have all that. Information. Well, she gets a guess with all that information. <laughs> I say six. She's changing. Six fifteen. Six fifteen p.m. Just oh in time boy! For Just in time. Then I leave. <laughs> it is ten thirty. We are doing some makeup. And we just posted on Instagram. <laughs> oh, we're on the ball trying to get things going. Is, am I still at level two Pitocin? You're at four. Right there. It's still pretty manageable. Okay, good. So they're going, they're going up by two units every 30 minutes. And you're feeling good? Great. So I just lay there and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back to get something there. And then she woke up at 9.15, she said, oh. And then she was like smiling and everything. So she woke up and said that she was crying. Was she confused as to why you were coming? No, she just went, that's when I go, I go back to sleep. Okay. But she's crying. She's just okay. Okay. Yeah. How far apart are they? Between two and three minutes. Two to three minutes? She's much closer than that. Well, from what I can try, that's why I moved, adjusted it just a little bit to make sure I'm taking them all up. Your fully balloon came out? Yes. Are you the glad to have it out? Yes. Yes. Came out, what, like 10 minutes ago? I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Daryl?
Dr. Haig just came in at 12.48 and checked Deandra's cervix. She is at a six and baby is at zero station. So she's moved down in her pelvis a lot. Yay, we're getting there. Oh, I'm so nauseous. You got your bag right there. Ah.
Yeah, we can find the fire